Well, I've seen the movie Concussion. Will Smith is amazing. It's quite a story. I'll be breaking it down. Well, I saw Concussion. Will Smith is amazing. The movie itself is powerful. It's well done. I commend everybody involved. And the movie really struck a chord with me. As uh, you know, the, the picture behind me has been on my wall for 20 years. Back when Mike Webster was still alive, Terry Long playing right next to him. Gentleman I competed against for years. Well, Mike Webster in particular is the focus of this movie as well as Dr. Ben Amalu, of course. He's the medical examiner, the pathologist that examined the brain of Mike Webster when he died at the age of 50 actually died of heart disease, but he was in terrible condition emotionally, as well as physically, psychologically. And his life had been falling apart for many, many years. This is all talked about in the film and the book. You know, I read Dr. Amalo's book years ago when it first came out, it was, it was riveting. And I hoped that it would be a movie at some point. And I'm really glad that Will Smith took on the role of, of Ben Romalu. He's an important, incredibly important doctor. And his story is, has changed football, not just at the NFL level, but has changed football forever. So to talk about that, ever since he discovered the disease in Mike Webster's brain, and it's been determined that that disease that he calls CTE for short, chronic brain encephalopathy. That that disease is there because of the repeated blows to his head. It is not under any circumstances a disease that uh, happens to the brain of a normal person. And now that that has been brought to everyone's attention, and this has been, the adjustments have been made to uh, the amount of head contacts in the NFL and, 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 and all the way down through the ranks to youth football, that's been going on for many years now. And it's certainly the best thing that can happen. It's gonna make the game safer. And we owe it all to, to Ben and Amalu, who discovered this disease. He has said it, that if he had grown up in the United States and been a football fan, he probably wouldn't have thought to test the brain of Mike Webster. But since he's from Nigeria and has no interest in football, that it just wasn't on his radar to do anything other than examine the brain in the way that he saw fit. It's changed everything for the better. Along the way, it's made me sad. I have to tell you, I was sad. I was really sad, and especially the, the last third of the movie, the last act of the movie. Uh, it made me think to my days competing against Mike Webster and Terry Long and really many, many others that uh, we've come to know over the years that have died of uh, this terrible brain disease. I know in my, I know intellectually that I'm not responsible for the premature death of Mike Webster and Terry Long or my old college teammate, uh, Tom McHale, who played for years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and also died uh, young and tragically of a drug overdose, but it was discovered in Tom McHale. This is that uh, he had CT. It's, it's not my fault, but in a way, I undeniably contributed to this problem, this disease in these men when I played against them. And we all did. We didn't know that we were, at the time when we were battling each other and hitting each other in the head, violently we didn't know what we were doing but we were we were inflicting brain damage on one another it makes me think that i'm for fortunate i think fortunate at, at this time at least i know in my life i don't think i have uh suffered my brain is i think fine 
But I got a long way to go. I hope I'm going to live a lot longer. And, uh, and but not so lucky, not so fortunate for, for so many, including Dave Durson and probably most famously and tragically Junior Seau. And there'll be others. There'll be others. And that saddens me a great deal. So movie is important. It's important if you're interested in football or have loved ones that are interested in contact football to see this. There has been some younger players, active NFL players that have been critical of this movie. I heard one say, we don't need this movie. We know the story. But, and this is coming from a guy that, that wasn't even born when Mike Webster and I were playing against each other. So I think a lot of people do know how that story ends for sure, but that doesn't mean it isn't an incredibly important story. I mean, should we not make movies about Lincoln or World War II? I mean, it makes no sense to me. This is an important event and this important movie has been uh, brought to the forefront for good reason. So I, I recommend this movie. It's a well-made movie and I, I think we're all going to be a little bit better because of it in the long run. It's, parts of it are certainly difficult to watch, but uh, it's important. And I, I thank Will Smith in particular for getting involved in a project. A star of his magnitude taking on a film like this is just great. It's, uh, this doesn't harm the NFL, and the NFL supported this film. You'll see in that movie and uh, that's the way it should have been. So that was handled, uh, that was handled correctly and uh, respect to the NFL for the way they, they stood up and supported this film. All right, I'm Pete Koch, I'm breaking it down. We'll see you next time.